All right, so this is how you're going to set up Nuke. <clears throat> you're going to go to the Foundry's website, or the uh, easiest way to do it is you go to Google and type in Download Nuke. And you go to the free 15-day trial. It's going to have you register your uh, information. Um, once you register, you'll be able to get access to this. You can download Nuke. And you're going to grab the latest version. So right now, uh, Windows 64 is Nuke X da 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 da. So you click that, download it, install the software, let it go. Uh, and then once you boot up Nuke, so you're going to open up Nuke. You'll get this little thing. It's going to say uh, no license found, purchase, activate, or obtain, or start in PLE, whatever. You're going to hit uh, activate. And you're going to type in 4101 at uh, nuke.macomb.edu. So you can see it. 4101 at nuke.macomb.edu. And then we hit OK. Uh, it's going to ask for what kind of license is this. It's an RLM license. And then it'll say a license installed OK. So we hit OK. And there we go. So now we have Nuke running. Okay. Now that's the last time you have to type that in. So the next time you go to Nuke, it'll just automatically open up. Now you only have, or we only have, 20 licenses for Nuke at the moment. Okay. So if 20 people are already logged on, it might say not enough licenses to run or something along those lines. So then you just wait a little bit and try it again. Okay. Um, and definitely, you know, don't let this thing just like sit there and work. Um, once you're done using Nuke, shut it down, make sure the license becomes available. Otherwise, we're going to have to put stricter precautions on it. Okay? So, that's it. Wonderful. Um, now you can use Nuke at home.